Colorado National Monument isn't a statue. It's a whole national park. And here, it's all about the views. I'm Sarah Hadiko, and you're in Spectrex. Some of the best of America's western landscapes can be found here at Colorado National Monument, where cliffs rise over canyons above the Grand Valley of the Colorado River, and erosion has carved spires, domes, and pedestals into works of art. We're starting our day at Red Canyon. This area is made up of hanging canyons, which are created as water erodes rock layers at the bottom, leaving the tops hanging. This is Ute Canyon. Far below, you can see traces of a stream. In the summer months, this area gets a lot of heavy rain, contributing to the slow change of the terrain. Straight ahead at Fallen Rock Overlook, you can see where a section of the cliff wall has separated and fallen from erosion. But it didn't happen overnight. It took centuries for the rock to slowly break away and slide down. Upper Ute Canyon is known for its long sections of smooth walls. Before we wrap up here, see if you can find the rock formation that looks like an Egyptian mummy. Highland View Overlook is the highest viewpoint above Monument Canyon with just a glimmer of the Colorado River in the distance. Early on, painters came to this overlook to render the cliffs and canyons on canvas, and so it has been named Artist Point. The clustered pinnacle formations ahead are known as Squaw Fingers, named after the delicate hands of the indigenous women. The hole in the cliff ahead looks like a secret cave but it's actually part of a drainage tunnel system to keep heavy rainwater from washing out the road above. The rounded sandstone domes ahead of us are the Coke ovens, named after similarly shaped ovens that were once used for transforming coal into Coke fuel during the late 1800s. This overlook is Grand View. It stands on a cliff over 300 feet high with expansive views into Monument Canyon. The spire at center left is called the Kissing Couple because up close, it looks like two people embracing. Independence Monument is a 450 foot high sandstone tower that's very popular with climbers. From here, you can see into the heart of Colorado National Monument. Distant View is so named because you can see all the way to Book Cliffs on the other side of Grand Valley. This is Balanced Rock, a perfect example of how melting snow and ice can wash away sandstone to form unique structures. But gravity will have its way one day. The view at the Redlands Fault stretches across the west entrance of the park. The formations here are the result of millions of years of tectonic movement. You can see the rocks to the right folded over as they were slowly pushed up over time. Colorado National Monument is so quiet, you can almost hear the natural erosion. I'm Sarah Hadiko. See you next time.